Hello everyone on YouTube, Spark here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to create top bar icons in Roblox Studio. We're gonna be using a module called Top Bar Plus. It's been made by Forever HD. I'll post the link down in the description. It's completely free and it's it's easy to use as well. You can do a bunch of stuff using this module. So first of all I'm gonna show you how to set it up, okay? First you'll open this link, I'll post it in the description again and then you'll open another link then you'll have to get this module basically it's free again I already have it so once you get this next up you're gonna need go open your Roblox studio okay now that you're in studio you're gonna wanna go to the view tab click toolbox okay then you're gonna go in inventory and in my models you'll see top bar plus double click it it'll pop up in your workspace it's gonna be a module script now place this module script in replicated storage and you're all set up now I'm gonna show you how to use this module now to use this module you're gonna need to create a local script and place it in starter player scripts now we're gonna need to require the module I'm gonna call it top bar mod require game replicate storage style icon okay so we put the directory here as you can see it's in replicate storage now I'm gonna create another variable named settings so as an example in this video I'm gonna be creating a settings icon okay now we're gonna top our mod dot new okay so now we've created the icon and stored it in this variable so that it's easy to use it okay now when we make our icon we're gonna obviously need stuff like um, an image on it um, and it's gonna need functions like a drop down menu uh, that sort of stuff so I'm gonna show you three of the most common uses for this module okay first I'm gonna show you how to set an image so we just write the name of the variable colon set image and now here we're gonna need to enter an image ID so I'm gonna go to toolbox images the gear icon will work here it is copy asset ID we're gonna paste the ID in here now now let me just show you how this works okay now you see up there there it is the settings icon okay so obviously it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't coded it so let's get to that by using this module we can also set tips um, again we write variable name colon set tip then we write uh, a string in here so basically whenever you hover over the icon it's gonna give you a tip basically okay let me just show you okay now let's see all right as you can see now when I whenever I hover over it it's gonna show the string I just wrote over here okay now we're gonna get to the actual stuff I'm gonna set a drop down menu so settings set drop down now we're gonna have an option for a fast mode basically low graphics so new now the settings whenever you click on settings it will show a drop down menu and it will have uh, other options 
so the option will obviously need a name so I'm gonna do that first do colon set label fast mode so now we're gonna actually make it do stuff okay so make the fast mode actually work for that we're gonna need another variable named fast mode check I guess so we'll use this to see if it's on already or if it's off now we'll bind our function to it so here as you can see I put a string before the function which says selected so every time I select you know uh, click the settings icon the code here will run okay so if fast mode is already off and we click it this code runs and it will turn off shadows and then fast mode is on okay so if it's already off this code runs and it will turn off the shadows and if it's on already then this code runs and it will turn on the shadows and set fast mode to false now we're gonna bind this whole same function to deselected okay so if we click once on the icon it's selected and if we click it again then it's deselected so if I don't add this to deselected then it won't run whenever I click it for the second time or the fourth time or the sixth time so let me just do that real quick okay, so now let me just show you how this looks in game oh wait actually I made a little mistake here so the selected and deselected need to be lowercase letters and now we can check okay now shadows are on I click the settings icon there it shows up fast mode I'm gonna click this and boom all shadows are off I'm gonna click it again they're on so that's how this works now there's a lot of other stuff you can do with this module for example I can create more options in here let's say I create an option for music okay so now it shows up there music doesn't do anything of course because I don't have any music on right now there's so many options there's so much uh, stuff you can do with this so I can't show it all in one video of course so I'm gonna link a whole documentation down in the description below and I hope you all enjoyed this I hope you guys learned something and let me know if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll see you next video